Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I cut out my subjects using a pen tool. So I've opened up the picture that I want to cut out. I want to cut out this horse and I want to have a nice crisp clean edge so when I drag him into my artwork he's going to look real good. So I've got my picture loaded into my Photoshop and I, first thing I'm going to do is duplicate this layer. And on the background layer, the very bottom one, I'm just going to fill it with this gray color go there's the gray and this is so that I can see where I've already cut out when I've cut out my horse so I'm going to be using the pen tool so I'm going to select pen tool or you can just press P on your keyboard and you want to make sure that you're set on path if you're set on shape it's just going to start filling with color and it's just harder to see what you're doing so I'm going to be set on path and I am going to zoom in. I want to cut, his, cut out his back. So I'm just going to zoom in so I can see the curve of his back real nice. And uh, so I'm going to select my pen tool. And the cool thing with pen tool is you can make a straight line and then curve that line exactly how you want after. So I'm going to put my starting anchor point right there. You can see a little box shows up. You just tap on the screen with your tablet or with your mouse. Just click. Um, and I'm going to cut along the whole length of his back, so to the very tip of his tail, I'm going to put another one. So now I've got this straight line straight across, and it's kind of useless if it's just straight. So what I'm going to do is, with my pen tool still, I'm going to hover over this line that I made. And you can see that little plus, uh, plus sign shows up next to my pen icon. So I'm going to just click to add it, and now I've got an anchor point. You see that little box, and these little things help you move it but we're not going to use those so uh, just press down control on your keyboard and you'll see that your little arrow turns white and then you can just click and drag it right to where you want it so I'm going to put it right there along his back so now I've got a curve there and I want to curve up over here so I'm going to click again add an anchor point hold down control and drag it right up and now I've got kind of kind of getting where I want to go so I can kind of see here it's not quite attached so I'll just add another one here and adjust this a little bit you can kind of see a purple hazing along the the horse's back we want to get rid of that because that'll just add some weird effects and it'll look crappy so um, now we've got that part all done just get up here right there get rid of that hazing so okay so now I've got my line nicely following the curvature of its back. Now once I've got that all done, I'm going to just kind of click up, just add some random lines. Um, <coughs> this will be the selection that we've cut out. All the stuff that's inside here is going to be removed. When we right click and select make selection, make sure your feather radius is set at zero because we don't want any feathering at this part. You want to keep that edge nice and crisp. So that's good for me. I'm going to press enter, click OK. And then just on my keyboard, click delete. And you can see I've got a nice line there where his back is and it's cut out. There's nothing there, <coughs> which is nice. Now I can kind of delete all this extra stuff that's out along here. I just used my lasso tool for this part. Just get all the main parts out because it's we don't really have any close the lines that we have to deal with here. So we'll just get rid of all this extra stuff that we don't need. Now I don't use the pen tool when I cut out hair because I don't want that super sharp edge and hair is not perfect anyway. So what I do is I just use my lasso tool. You can see I've got the feather set to one pixel. That'll feather it just a little bit to make the edges a little softer. And I'll go up along his hair with my lasso tool and just kind of scribble that out. Don't get too close to his ear because you want that to be nice and sharp because it'll look good. There we go. Click delete. And now we've got some fuzzy hairs there. It makes it a little easier to blend it later. I'm going to do the same with his tail. Don't worry too much. Hair is not perfect. All this stuff can go. You can edit it to exactly how you want to. And so I'm going to show you how I use a pen tool in more curvier parts of uh, the body. 
So I'm going to cut out his head. So the first place I'm going to put my first anchor is right here on his forehead. And then the second one I'm going to put right here under his upper lip because then it'll just be easier to work with. So I'm going to add an anchor here, hold control, go right up on his nose and right over his eye socket along the bridge of his face in his upper lip. And don't forget to Sometimes you gotta add a few. If it, if you zoom in, it's easier to work with because you can see more of the curves. The more curves you get in there, the more awesome it's gonna look. So it's gonna look more detailed, and it might be a little more time-consuming. But the more time you take in something, then usually the better it ends up looking out. So you can drag the end points too. Just gonna go. Down. I'm just going to go around, right click, make selection, and delete. There we go. See, we, now we've got his face cut out with a nice nice edge there. And once I'm done, I'll be ready to drop him into the background I'm ready to use, and I'll be good to go. I'll have nice crisp lines cut out and look like he belonged in that picture in the first place. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to post in the comments section below. And if you want to see more of any future videos that I may post, make sure you subscribe. Thanks, guys.